looks so good, doesn't it? Award-winning act Australian actress Anne Tenney is famous for playing Sal Kerrigan, much celebrated Aussie film The Castle, one of my all-time faves, and Molly Jones in the long-running soap, A Country Practice, and she's currently in New Zealand for the latest season of Pop Up Globe. It's great to have you here, Anne! Woo! Thank you for having me. <laughs> so how long have you been here and how are you enjoying it? Oh, I'm loving it. I mean, it's mostly been working in Pop Up Globe. It's been a fairly intense rehearsal period. Um, and I've been here now for about a month and so I've got another three months to go and I'm really loving it. It's yeah. great. It's fantastic. So I know New World and I know Ellerslie. <laughs> that's, that's, that's as far as I've got. <laughs> Waiheke's a good place to visit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get some more time off over Christmas and New Year, so that's yes. going to be good fun. And hopefully the weather improves as well. <laughs> um, well look, let's go back to a country practice. I mean, yeah. 33 years ago, I think. Is, yeah, yeah, you know, a long time ago. A long time ago. Your character, Molly, when mm. she died, Australia was went into a period of mourning. People were taking time off work to grieve, weren't they? Yes, they were. Was that one of your first acting roles? Um, I had been doing stage previously. I'd sort of, it was one of my, you know, the first sort of big television role that I had um, after coming out of acting school. So prior to that, I'd done little bits and pieces of, you know, Poor theatre. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it was uh, it was a big break. And then, did, <clears throat> why why did you leave a country practice? It was your decision to leave, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I'd been. I mean, as I say, I'd left acting school and I'd gone straight into that. And so, when you're in a long running series, you get into certain acting habits. And I wanted to develop more as an actress. So. I, and I thought, well, the four and a half years is, is a long time. I'd actually planned to leave the year earlier. Right, but they and convinced you to stay, did they? They <laughs> said, look, we want to write you out well. Okay, so nice. please stay for another year. We can work out how to write you out well. And, and they wrote you out indeed, didn't they? They did. They, 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 they gave did. you quite an illness. I know. They just watched, the producers had just watched Terms of Endearment. Ah. And gone, so the lead character, Deborah Winger, had died of leukaemia. And they went, yeah, this is great. We're going to do that. And I was like, oh, no. But it was good as well, not just for your career, but you also met your husband on the show. Is that right? Yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And did you keep that under wraps, that relationship? I, yes, I, I we did. I remember reading a, a story yeah. a while ago. Yeah, we kept it quiet. Um, because uh, we're fairly private, right. so yeah, I usually like to keep my private life fairly private. And, and you know those too. things sort of, there was, um, with the country practice at that time, there was quite, it was, it was the one big show, so the publicity was huge at that time. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Speaking of huge, the <laughs> castle, I can't believe they shot that in 11 days. Did you have any idea when you were making it that it was going to be the cult classic that it is? No idea at all. I mean, I, when I read the script, I thought this is a fantastic script. Needs no changes. It's great. It's a little simple story. That's what I thought. And then when we watched it in front with an audience for the first time, the reaction was just astounding. Like I just had no idea that it was going to be the hit that it that it came to be. Well, you got things like spon <laughs> uh, sponge cake, no, um, and just jousting sticks. Yeah, and straight uh, and to the pool sticks. room. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. all of these classic sayings that have yeah, just yeah. lived on yeah, in yeah. Australian, New Zealand, and in fact, world history. Well, as I well. was I was in the UK, and right. it was a massive fave amongst me and my friends to mm. just, you know, you just put it on and just laugh out loud. Did you think when you read the script? Yeah, it's funny, but what did you think? Did you think it was ever going to be that big, and why was it that successful? I think. Um, um, I, I mean, I did not think it was going to be that big. I, as I say, I thought, I thought it was going to be just a little film, and I laughed. I thought it was great. This is fantastic comedy, and it's got a lot of heart. And I think that's what the, why yeah. it's so popular, because people could identify with the characters, and it's also got a lot of visual humour in it as well, and yeah. the jokes are really good. Um, and the, I just the serenity. Got, the serenity, yeah. <laughs> just... Also, am I touching my mic? I, always <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> I haven't got a mic on, actually. No. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so but people just really, oh, they just really loved the mm. characters, and the characters were based on family members of the writers. So this is, this is my dad. We've based this on like sort of a conglomeration of our dads. Yeah. And, I think that's uh, what it was for me. It's like it, it's, it's hilarious, but it, there's a lot of love there in the family, yeah, and you're just yeah. like you're in love with all the characters. Yeah. Um, something I w did want to ask you about that though. What was your favourite scene? I really loved the visual image of the trolley 
coming from the airport and then walking along the street <laughs> with the trolley, <laughs> yeah, right. like taking it all the way home. I just love that image. Yeah. So well, there's so we, many yeah, good scenes in it. We yeah. did <laughs> fall in love with that, and you know, you've had some fantastic projects over the years, and now here you are at the Pop Up Globe. Yes. How exciting is it to be part of this institution? Oh, really? oh, look, it is one of the most exciting things that's happened for me in in some time. It's just fantastic. I can't quite believe that I'm on that wonderful stage. Well, what draws actors and actresses of your calibre to want to be part of this? Is it because it's that classic Shakespeare? Uh, I, I, I just think it's the whole experience. I mean, I haven't had a lot of uh, experience with Shakespeare. So, and I, I first read about Pop-Up Globes. said, Pop-Up Globes coming to Australia. I had no idea what it was and thought, oh, that sounds really interesting. And it's just, we're working with 14 wonderful actors and it's just the whole company, you know, dresses, um, everybody, like, just from the top down. It has such a wonderful philosophy about joy, hope and unity, giving yeah. that to the audience. And it's about the audiences that we're getting and they're just just sharing that experience and getting that feedback. And you feel it, yes. Well, it's they're fantastic. there. It's so immersive when yeah, you're yeah, in it. And yeah. you play to the weather, you play to yeah, the audience do, there, yes. you know. Yeah, this week will be interesting. Yes, yeah. it will. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be raining. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People are going to get wet. But that's part no, of it, it's isn't it? part of it. They um, just love it. What yeah. are your roles? Um, in Richard, I'm playing the Duchess of York and a halberdier, so I get to wear a helmet. <laughs> I get to hold a pike, 15 foot pike. Oh, there you are. Very proud of. <laughs> um, and in Shrew, I am playing the widow, who doesn't say much for a lot of it, but she stands around smoking a vape. And then also play a servant and a haberdasher. So lots of... Lots of roles. Yeah, oh, it's so fun. lovely That's to so have cool. you here. Yeah. And it's been an absolute pleasure. Can't, yeah. can't wait to go see. Mm. Oh, yeah. Shows. Everyone's yeah. got to come Everyone's and see. Everyone's got to go see. Yeah. Come and see. You've got to book because it's going to get booked out. Well, the latest season of Pop-Up Globe is on mm. now at Auckland's Ellerslie Racecourse. Make sure you check their website out for ticket details. You've got to tick that off your bucket list. Go on, do it.